this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is D Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2A community. Appreciate all the comments, people. Appreciate the likes. People, people appreciate people sharing it. Appreciate people watching. Even the United Subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate you anyway and everything. And I appreciate the ones been sticking with me through the good and the bads and ups and the down. And I appreciate the ones that is, you know, pretty much follow me over there on Gunstream and stuff like that. You know, we getting the numbers up over there, people. So I appreciate the people over there on Gunstream who follow me over there. Uh, I pretty much don't have too many other social media platforms and everything. In the 2A community, we need our own platform. Because, you know, a lot of these platforms pretty much are trying to silence us and infringing our Second Amendment. So that is the number one priority over here. Build our own platform so we can keep speaking on it and not be silenced. So with that said, y'all to start people just to mess them just to every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution to defend the Second Amendment. So with that said... Right now, people, I'm talking about we have so much in the headlines and we've been going over all the ways that they're trying to pretty much say, you know, they're trying to reduce gun violence. They're trying to, you know, stop farm sales and stuff by raising the age restrictions. I'm trying to limit people in certain ages to get guns and stuff like that. We have seen it all. We talked about how they're coming after these companies with the build it yourself kits. You know, you finish it at home and all this kind of stuff. We talked about how they're trying, you know, people trying to evade the background checks, they say, and everything. We talked about all this kind of stuff. But, you know, I found a study that saying that, you know, even states who have the age restrictions in for, you know, for a long time. We're not talking about states who just trying to implement, you know, from 18 to 21 to have a farm and all this kind of stuff. We're not talking about that because a lot of these places, say, oh, we're going to raise the age limit. A lot of stores and retailers say, we're going to raise the age limit to 21. I'm talking about, you know, they think that that is going to solve the gun violence. They, they think that is going to solve gun crime and homicides and stuff that is going on. And it's not, people, because there's many ways that people are getting guns and stuff. So with that said, the study has found that age restriction limits doesn't stop gun violence. It doesn't lower homicides. It doesn't lower gun crime, people. In the age range where you're still having these age groups that is getting firearms that is prohibited, that have age restrictions, 18, 16, 15, 14, 13, those are the age groups, people, that are being caught with guns out here. They, they are, I'm talking about, they're not even old enough to even get a firearm and they got guns. So the age restriction study found that it doesn't work. Even with states that they ran the, the study and stuff in that has age restriction, it has not slowed down the numbers. It has not decreased gun violence. It has not decreased homic gun homicides. It has not decreased gun crime. It has not decreased it, people. So I've been saying for a long time, a lot of these laws only work for the law abiding citizen, people who's going to follow the law, people who's not going to follow the law. Guess what? There's no law for them to follow. They're not following the law. So the age restrictions, just like all the gun control is part of the gun control restrictions that we've been talking about. That's only affecting the law abiding citizen, not the criminals. And you have this age group. That is getting guns all kinds of ways. I'm talking about, I see articles all the time where you having young teenagers, 14, 15, breaking in vehicles, getting firearms. They're participating in breaking in gun shops. They're participating in, in, in robbing people's homes and all this kind of stuff. That's the age group. They're participating. And they're under 16 years old. They're participating. A lot of your major gun violence in a lot of your major cities and stuff. These are teenagers, people, 15, 14, 16 years old, 18, 19. They're still having access to firearms. They're getting it all other ways. These laws does not work against them. I'm talking about, so this is the problem that we have in this country when it comes to firearms, people. They keep creating these laws that does not work for the group they're after them. The group they are after, it don't work for them because they're, they're not following the law. That law, 
the age restriction law only applies if someone is obeying the law. And I feel like I'm a broken record. Keep talking about these laws. That the only people who these laws work against is law abiding citizens. I know it's frustrating to y'all and it's frustrating to me. But we had this huge circus one time. All the retailers, you know, dicks way back then. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna raise it to buy a farm and all this kind of stuff. We're going to raise it to 21. You know, Walmart, everybody did that. It's not, it, it has not solved nothing. The study has said it, it has not decreased nothing. Raising the age limits doesn't stop none of the things that we I just got through talking about. So I just want to talk about that to give you some numbers, to give you some type of evidence that's out there. Your opposition is not talking about this stuff, people. They still proposing all these things that I've been trying to put out there that's not working. And the bad part about it, the organization that support the opposition, these are the ones that studying this stuff. These are the ones that's putting out this information. I'm talking about, so, you know, you still have, you still have Joe Biden, uh, Kamala Harris still proposing all these things that's not even working. They're still doing double down and stuff on it. So, like I said before, uh, age restrictions and stuff like that doesn't lower none of the things like gun violence, homicides, and gun crime. It doesn't lower. Uh, to my, you know, that age group that is restricted are still getting the farms and stuff and still out doing all the stuff that they're trying to prevent them from doing. So, just want to give you some information on that. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.